Hey guys, welcome to another phaser lesson. You can see right now what we have is a game where we can move up, down, left, right and we can touch the enemy and nothing happens. So what we want to do now is we want to fix it so that when we are moving diagonally upwards we actually want the plane to face the um, upright direction. Okay, so and then when it's moving to top left we actually want to face that angle so we want to change the direction that it's facing and we also want it so that when we touch the enemy um, our plane disappears or the enemy disappears or whatever so let's deal with the direction actually let's do the easier part first so we want it so that when we touch the enemy our player disappears so to check for collisions what we want to do is we want to let phaser know that we want to start the arcade physics system so we've got our game object and to start a uh, physics system what we need to do is we say physics dot start system okay so within the game object there's a physics object in charge of the physics and we want to run the function start system and we want to give it the uh, parameter phaser.physics.arcade okay so this just lets phaser know that we have enabled the arcade physics which we can use to check for um, collision detection so now what we want to do is we want to um, let the let phaser know that the player objects that we have created we want to enable the arcade physics on this object so we go game.physics.arcade.enable um, and we're enabling the player object to interact with our physics and the same thing with our alien okay so now the player and the alien are part of the um, part of the physics for the game uh, but you still need to say what happens when they collide okay so when they collide okay under the update function is where you check if they collide so within the update function we say check if they collide okay actually it's a good idea for you to start commenting your code so here all of these are um, controls for a uh, player so check if um, player and aliens collide um, so what I want to do is I go game.physics.arcade.overlap so this function just checks whether the two things are colliding so whether the player and the alien are colliding and if they do collide what happens we want to run a function so let's call a function called die okay so a function called die is going to be called when the player and the alien collides so where is this die function going to be well let's put that right at the end so after our update function let's put it here function die bracket brace and let's put in here player dot kill so this just destroys the player object okay so if we run that game let's see what happens Um, oops, I spelt physics wrong here. F P H Y S. Okay, let's try that again. So now I have my game here, and if I move and touch the enemy, I disappear. Okay, so that is our first uh, event. Woohoo! So now what we want to do is we want it so that the plane that we're moving um, 
the plane that we're moving, we want it so that when we go diagonally, the plane actually faces the direction that it's facing in. So instead of using four separate if statements, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the left and the right key if statements. I'm going to cut cut them. Actually, I'm going to copy them. And oh, actually, I might just cut it. Cut them and I'm going to put it inside the if statement for the up key. Okay, so I'm going to indent the code so you can see it better. Um, so basically, the first if statement says if the up key is pressed, it's going to do this. And then at the same time, straight after it's run that, it's going to check if the left key is pressed. Okay, we're going to change the angle to 270 minus 45. So that is 225. And then if the right key is pressed, we're going to change the angle to 270 plus 45, which is 315. So if you run this, okay, what happens is you get a game and when you press the up down key it works when you press the left right key it doesn't work but if you press the up key and the right key it moves diagonally so that's good so now let's get the bottom working as well so when we are moving downwards okay when we're moving downwards um, if I press the left key it's gonna go to 90 minus 45 90 plus 45 which is uh, 135 otherwise it's gonna go to 45 so if I run this um, again it's working now diagonally but when I just press the left and the right key it doesn't work so to fix that what we need to do is instead of it instead of four separate if statements we're going to link them together using else if oops I should put that here else if okay so if the up key is pressed we do that otherwise right otherwise we um, check if the down key is pressed if it is then we do that right and then otherwise we check else if if the left and the right arrow keys are pressed so if the left key is pressed else if the right key is pressed um, so let me just clean that up a little bit so else if okay and then else if okay so what we're saying is if the up key is pressed do all that and otherwise we check if the down key is pressed if it is do all that otherwise we check if the left key is pressed if it is we change the angle to 180 Otherwise, we check if the right key is pressed. If it is, we change the angle to zero. Okay, so rather than four separate if statements, we have one if statement and three else if statements. So let's do that again. Uh, press F12 to check the game. and something is not loading because I did not have an extra brace here so let's close that brace F12 again and you can see here that when I'm moving in the direction that the plane is moving in the sprite rotates in that direction and when I touch the enemy I disappear Okay, so that's good. So I will talk about how to improve this in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you next time.